Restorative justice is a philosophy, basically a way of seeing the world. Um, we oftentimes say restorative justice is how you would want it if it was your child. So it seeks to repair the harm, to identify the harm done, and seeks to repair the harm, holding the person who might, might have caused the harm accountable, but also bringing in and including the community. So the community is a, is a partner in restoring that harm done. So it's the, the person who was harmed, the person who did the harm, or persons who did the harm, and then the community working together through dialogue, through relationships to repair that harm. What's up, baby? I'm not trying to see what my sister and brothers need. to eat. Ramon, you better not go out there and do nothing stupid. The streets don't love you like I do. What if something bad happens and you get locked up? Is Lorenzo going to do that time with you? I feel you. I got to do what I got to do. I got to go. Love you. Bye. I love you too, but think about it before you act. Cops said something about you before they sent me here. It's not a get out of jail free card, but instead of going to jail, you're doing some real self major evaluation. You know what that means? So you want me to think about what I did? Kind of. It's a two month program, but by the end of it, we see that you made real progress or reevaluate your situation. That means you can't come in late or you can't come in when you want to. Like I said, you need to show up and participate on time, refuse to take part in this program, and you'll risk going back to jail. We are not here to give you a hard time, but we need you to participate. You understand? Yeah. Can I count on you to dedicate yourself to this program? I mean, what else I'm gonna do? Any questions? No. Come in, bro. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Nothing. Man, hello. What you been on? Nothing, bro. Back and forth to this program. Yeah, bro. They still got you going to this program? Man, yeah, bro. For another two months. Hey, bro. I feel sorry for you. Yeah, that's messed up. Man, forget this program, bro. We need to get this money today. Yeah, I hate you, bro. Man, for real, bro. We need to get this guap. Man, I don't know, bro. I just caught a case. Man, forget that, bro, man. If you know how to run, bro, you ain't gonna get caught. Man, this thing I'm talking about, we can get that love today. Alright, I'm thinking about it. Alright, bro, what's up? Okay. What's up, man? What's up? I'm here for a ride, you? Fighting 12s. Oh, this is gonna be a long program. I know, right? What about you, Miss Lady? Me, also. I'm here for fighting with my mama. Okay, okay. Listen up. Who think they know what a peace circle is? Come over here and take a seat. Man, let's get this over with. Who think they know is the purpose of a peace circle? To better ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's part of it. It's about communication, getting to know one another, accepting one another, and uplifting one another. Each one of you deserve to be heard. When you walk through those doors and take a seat in these chairs, you will be heard. I'm going to start off reading a poem written by a friend of mine. After that, I'll pass the talk piece around, and I want you to let me know how you're feeling. I know this might seem a little strange, but that's okay. You might not see it yet, but this program is going to really help you out. How'd you feel doing the peace circle? How I feel about the peace circle? Uh, I felt awkward, but it was nice to talk a little bit. What did you think of the peace circle? Embarrassed, but I'm glad they ain't throw me in jail. Why do you feel embarrassed? Because I was fighting with my mama. 
And what I think about it, it was lame. It was a waste of time. Is there anything you could learn? Anything interesting? No. Did I see you hanging out with Lorenzo yesterday? So? Are you for real? Just cause I got locked down, I mean that changed my problems. Okay, all you had to do was ask and I would've gave it to you. I know, man, but I'm a man, that's my job. Boy, just ask and I'll give it to you. No. Ramon! So you just gonna walk off on me? Ramon! Why did you have a fight with your mom? Why did I fight my mama? Because she wanted me to stop doing what I was doing. What kind of things were you doing? I was doing stuff like fighting, stealing, and stuff like that. Why do you keep doing those things? I keep doing it because you think it's easy to stop. What else is it to do? What attracts you to a life on the street? I need the money. Is it worth it? Yeah, struggling. Why are you doing this stuff? Cause ain't no job I have for me. We do this stuff. You ready? No. I'm gonna help you, but you're gonna have to go in though. Why? It's a part of the program. Fine, whatever. Okay, let's start off by your names and how you're feeling. Vanessa Jefferson, fine. Ramon, fine too. Okay, let's start off by... It isn't even necessary. I got other things to do with my time. Can we finish the P-Circle? Ramon, why did you rob the store? I don't rob people. I just needed the money. Did you really need the money? There's other things to do other than rob and threat people. Vanessa, Ramon. I know there's other way to make money, but I tried. I applied for jobs. People been hiring because I was too young. I don't got any experience. Did you really need the money? Where your parents at? I mean, I got two brothers and sisters. Mama got sick a year ago. Money come in, but it ain't enough. My brother and sister eat one meal at school day. So I gotta do what I gotta do. You were pretty mad at the beginning of the peace circle. Can you blame me? I guess not. What did you learn about this process? I learned that you'll never know why people do the things they do until you actually sit down and talk to them. You'll be surprised. What did you learn through this process? Well, I learned that when you commit a crime, you're not hurting the face of the person. I learned a lot about talking about it. Here's the last question we have for you today, Vanessa. This affected you very deeply. What can Ramon do to help you? Well, I had a few ideas. Ramon's actually a nice kid. My husband having back problems. I can use a little help around the store. I know you can use a few dollars with your brothers and sisters. What do you think about working with me? Your thoughts, Raymond? Yeah, that sound good. Yo, yo, yo! Did this here last time? Let's do it again. Ah, uh, bro. Got this program. Got this job. Done. All right, man. God gave us a choice and a voice on mastery. Things that you can't be flipped shut. Give thanks, but never give up. A lot of folks hang up the show on kids. Us, few no truth, but the rest is mixed up. Some won't prove, but the rest is just trust. Give thanks, but never give up. A lot of folks hang up the show on kids. Us, few no truth, but the rest is mixed up. Some won't prove, but the rest is just trust. Our world is a playground. I think one of the things that is really important and it's really hard uh, is that it become community led that this restorative justice effort is led by the community. This means grandmothers, the, the barbershop guy, the corner store person, the kids, that is community led and the systems support that. Um, because I think if we're really, if there's gonna be change happening, it's gotta happen within the community. It's a playground, it's a playground. It's a playground. Life is like a playground. <laughs> See the tight jog and sleep in the ride. Go hustle by the swings. Do your thing on the court. Whatever you choose, for sure.
make sure you have a good time. Kick up dust. <laughs>